Yo, what's good? It's your boy Druid, and today we're coming back in with the second installment of the Shroom Saga. Today we're going to talk about the time where I took my first shroom dosage, and to be honest, it was not a good time, but it does make for a good story. So, buckle in, get ready, pull your big boy pants on, or I guess off if you're going to sleep. Um, I, I don't know why I'm encouraging any of that. Anyways, this is epic, this is legendary, um, I was way too emotional, my family definitely knew I was on something, that it was a whole mess, I was just completely unproductive, it is what it is, and let's get right into it. So, where we left off, I had just gotten my first set from Esther, um, the girl whose baby daddy was the plug I got some weed off of him a couple of times, but primarily we, we got some shroom chocolates and it was pretty epic. They tasted good. They came in a huge variety of flavors, but to start it off, we just got that standard milk chocolate and a cookies and cream variety. They weren't very big. I'd say the bars themselves were maybe four to five inches. But hey, I mean, they they smacked, and they got me sent, and I tripped balls when necessary, and my tolerance was able to handle that. So, on this fateful day, I woke up out of bed not really thinking too much, you know? I was so excited to take it, the first thing I did, even before brushing my teeth, getting like clothes on, yada yada, was going into my bag, pulling it out, breaking off a square, and popping it. I found out later that it was 0.6 grams of psilocybin, but for like a really long time, like I'd say like the first month or two that I was taking these, and I was taking them a lot, like considerably, I was like tripping or microdosing to the point where I wouldn't really call it a microdose, like twice a week minimum sometimes more and the only reason i wasn't doing more is because i wanted my tolerance to stay lower so i didn't have to spend more so solo had already had his first bit the night before but i didn't want to drive home and by the time i got home because we moved to a new place it was like an hour drive and i was just like yeah uh, i'm gonna take it the next day or whatever i, I didn't feel like risking wrecking the car the first time I took shrooms and I also didn't know how I was going to interact with my mom when I would see her when I got home so yeah I just popped it first thing and then I went about my day as I said we had just moved in like a couple of days prior when we had our first meal in the house instead of eating at its kitchen table my mom and I sat on totes and ate off the island like paper plates and everything i'm it was fine the food tasted good but still everything was packed up in this house i like just you know because there's so much to do i slept not on my bed but on my brother's bed because it was like easier to put together and they were away like at their dad's house so like it wasn't a big deal right so i start like putting my bed together that was the first task my mom put me on and the fact that I took it, like, I pretty much instantaneously forgot that I took it. And just was like, I don't know how this is going to affect me, but I, I figure, like, I'm going to know. Um, which I realized in retrospect, kind of, like, as my mom and my granddad, like, looked at me and I was like, oh, damn. But, yeah, I started putting this bed together and... You know, I've done it before. I was the one that took it apart. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? But I'm just struggling, man. It took me 15 minutes to put the frame together. And I'm not talking about the slats in the middle, which were a whole struggle in themselves. Every single time that I would go to put one of these slats in, it would just fall through. Like, 
I I just it was like a thought cycle, but with my hands, you know, and I, I'm just tweaking out about it. I I can't comprehend it. I'm like, bro, like I don't know where this mattress is gonna go because <laughs> I'm gonna be sleeping below below the bed. You feel? Um, but yeah, I just was having a really hard time, and it got to the point where I called my mom over and I'm like. Can you help me? Like, I don't think these are the right slats. And she tries herself, and, you know, she's pretty skeptical. And she's like, bro, you're, you're 19. You should be able to put your own bed together type shit. Um, which, yeah, I, I should. But, I mean, it, it wasn't happening. It, I don't, I didn't know what to tell her. Um, and she was like, you know what, I don't even know about it, but we gotta get at least some stuff done today, so she just, like, pointed me to a wire shelf, one of those, like, metal ones where they have the layers, and instead of it being, like, completely solid layers, they're, like, strips of metal in between, I, I'm not giving a solid description, I'll put one up on the screen. But essentially, I was supposed to put it together and then put it inside the closet so we would have, like, my brothers and I would have a place to put our shit and then hang our stuff on the whatever's right beside it, you know? I started putting this together, and I didn't realize that the the shrooms had already started to kick in as I was putting the bed together. Like, that's why I was, like, so overly emotional about it <clears throat> but because this is my first time ever taking psilocybin i it just my perception of these grooves on these slats to put it on was just like screwed completely in essence to put these layers on the layers of shelf you had the four poles and then there were these little black plastic clips that would snap together and you would put them like on the grooves and the grooves would hold it in place, you know? And then you just slide the layer through the poles and it would sit on all four, right? So I get my first one going. Good shit. Second one on. A little harder, but hey, I managed to get it done. Third one on. It was a bit more tricky. And when I got to that fourth one on the first layer, I mean, it was smooth. And I I put it down. I put the whole layer down. I'm like, sweet. Two layers to go, right? I, I've got the first one down pat. Um, I'm not an absolute failure in life. Maybe I can do this. I start with the second layer. Black clips. Dude, these grooves, I had... It was like I was back in fifth grade, like three inches away from the smart board and st still like struggling to read the top of the screen like i i was looking at these grooves but honestly it was like that i was like that guy that had the eyes in his palms like i i was using my hands to see i effectively was blind at this point like i could see but these impressions were just like like too i couldn't focus like I, I was just, like, the lines kind of seemed to be shifting or moving. And honestly, like, I was feeling pretty good. Like, when I put that first level together and I had that, I had, like, a wave of euphoria. And I was like, I'm the fucking man. But, you know, I, I stopped feeling like the fucking man at this moment. Because I, the grooves were just not grooving. And, you know, that, that made me not be grooving. And... It was just not a good time. I, I managed to get the first one on. And then I realized, I don't think I put these proportionately. So I, I went back down to the bottom and tried to count the layers. Or just like in my head figure out like how to make these shells all evenly spaced. And I get it, you know, the first one's in. The second one, I, I got it on. And then the third and the fourth. And then I go to slide the metal layer on top. Bro, it, I, I didn't realize because 
all of the little blastic clips were at different levels. So the shelf layer was like all kind of twisted sideways. It was just not happening. I had to take all the clips off and the layer and just restart. And I'm just like really just not digging this, you know. It, this is this is not for me, man. Um, get me back in a place with my friends where I can just vibe the fuck out or, you know, whatever. Like, anything felt more fun than this. And eventually my granddad came in and he started working on unpacking, um, unpacking some bulkier shit. Um, doing whatever he was doing, honestly, I had no clue because I was in the room and just, like, completely unaware. I just, like, happened to hear him come in and, like, heard his voice and all that. Um, eventually... I call my mom in just because I I'm done with it, you know, and uh, it's she looks at me because I still haven't had this second layer on. Like, what is wrong with this kid? And she cocks her head to the side like a dog that doesn't know what you're speaking, you know. And I, I then it hits me. I'm like, oh fuck, man, the chocolate. And I'm just like trying to play cool. And I'm like, mom, I don't know what to do. It's just not working for me. And I had been trying to take it over to the closet so I could just continue, like, assembling it in the closet. That shit wasn't happening. I couldn't get it through the door. The door seemed like a smaller proportion than the shelf. My whole perception of size and shapes and everything, like, it seemed to be a bit distorted. And I hadn't quite figured out why, you know? Looking back on it, I'm an absolute idiot. Don't try to move in on shrooms. It, it Stuff will not fit, and it will not go in the right places. But she manages to, like, just, I'm done with you kind of look. And, like, walks away, goes back to unpacking the stuff in the kitchen. And I finally get this shelf together. But I'm back with the same issue. I cannot get this shelf in that closet. I'm cursing. Under my breath, of course, because mom's in the next room. I'm, like, banging this thing, and eventually I take it out, and I'm so frustrated. I take all of my frustration out on the damn shelf. I beat the bitch, and it's, you know, that was enough to get the attention of my granddad. The door was kind of half cracked open, but my mom, like, steps in and whatnot, and just like, Druid, if you can't handle this, you you just need to go. And my granddad's like, Dixon, Druid, calm down. And they both looked at me with that knowing look in their eyes. They knew exactly, like, something was up. I was definitely on something. But they didn't They didn't bother asking, you know. that That's too much of a hassle. You know, like, we're moving in. Like, th- there's bigger priorities than... You know, the the kids trying to vibe out um, and, you know, doesn't really think about the circumstances that he's in at the moment. Eventually, I, you know, I, I try to get my mom to put it in. Mom's realizes, yeah, it won't fit. You have to build it inside the closet. And she's just like, you know what? And just just go to the front of the house. Start putting the books on the shelves. And that's what I did until I went off to work. And I had my true first trip that night on shift with my buddy Solo. And that's where we're going to leave it for next time. I hope y'all liked the video. I th- This is a wild ass story. Um, don't take shrooms it, when you're moving, I guess, is the moral of the story. Or maybe if you're having a bad day, maybe that's the wrong advice. I don't know. I I tend to not make I tend to make pretty impulsive decisions. I think that might be the theme of the story. Anyways, I hope y'all have a great day. Be safe. Peace.